What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a video on the new Huda Beauty matte and metal eyeshadows. So I grabbed three of them and I'm so excited to try these because these look so cool and so different. So I watched Huda Beauty's video on these products. I took some notes so I'm fully prepared to give you guys a review and a tutorial using all three of these. I'm going to try out each one on my eye and demo it for you all and let you see what it looks like and how to work these bad boys. So these retail for $25 each. These are brand new to the market. So on one side, there's a shimmer and on the other side, it is a matte eyeshadow. So these are companion products. So you use them together and you are able to create a super easy eye look. So I watched her demo these products. She had her sister use it, her husband use it, and even her kid use it. And so everybody was able to use these products very efficiently and quickly. These are melted eyeshadows. The names of the colors are super cute and it's things that go together she says so this one is called cherry soda and on the other side is called hot sauce this one is called private jet shimmering sunset and this one is called silk bomber and bubblegum so it's cute little color combinations. These products are really cool because they're marketed to be waterproof and crease proof. And if you guys know me, you know my eyes are so sensitive. Any little thing will set it off and I will get teary eyed. So I definitely am going to put these to the test. So in her demonstration, she used one side and did three dots in the crease and she blended it out with a brush. She also says that you can use your fingers, but for me, I like a more precise application. So I almost always prefer a brush and then on the other side is the metallic it has a brush tip applicator she says that you can brush it on your eyes and it creates a super easy cut crease or if you don't want to do a cut crease you can blend it out with a brush but you have to work quickly because both the shimmering and the matte sides dry very fast so do not take your time blending it out just put it on and go straight in there otherwise it will dry how it is all three of these products showed up on me I actually want to show you guys swatches of each one Okay, so now I want to jump into the demonstration and play with each one of these products. I did an eye look using each one individually, and then with a few of them, I did two different eye looks just to see how these products performed. So I'll go ahead and jump into that, and then stay tuned until the end, and I will share with you all my final thoughts on these products. And as per usual, I have all of my makeup details down in the description box. So I hope that you all enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will talk to you soon. The first duo that I'm going to take is Private Jet and Shimmering Sunset. So I'm going to follow the directions that Huda did in her demonstration. So she took the matte one first and she did three dots. One, two, three. And she said not to wait because this stuff dries down really fast. She says you can use a brush or your fingers. I'm going to use a Wayne Goss brush. This is a number 17 blending brush and I'm going to buff this back and forth. Okay. So this is going on top of no base and it is very pigmented. This is a very light color. I wasn't sure how this was going to show up on my complexion, but it definitely is showing up and it blended out easy as cake. Oh wow. It looks like a powder eyeshadow once it dries down. It doesn't feel tacky. It feels matte and it blended easy. Now I'm going to go in with the shimmering sunset side and she says to wipe off the applicator because it's too much when it first comes out and she says to brush it on the lid. Okay, so this is thicker. So I'm going to wipe off my brush just a little bit more and she said not to double dip. So I will not double dip because it'll probably be too much because I almost think this is too much. I honestly think this is easy to use with the brush that it comes with, this little brush tip applicator, but preferably I would like to go in with a brush just to not apply so much product. Bam, you got your cut crease. That is pigmented. I want to go back over that edge and blend it out a little bit more, but you don't have to. You can keep it like a cut crease. That is pretty. And that's just those two products by themselves. I'm impressed. The shimmer is still coming up a little bit, but she did say that they dry down, so I'm going to give it a few seconds. It has high shine, and it was super easy to use. I actually want to go back with the Crease Color Private Jet to see if I can intensify 
just a little bit because as you all saw, those were very pigmented. I'm gonna go back with my blending brush. Okay, so I don't like the way that this builds up once you already have that shimmer on the lid because once you go back over that shimmer with a little bit more of this matte color to try to intensify the shimmer, it's kind of flaking off. As you all can see, trying to go back in, the shimmer is breaking apart slightly, but it was initially pretty. You can scratch off the flakes, but you can almost do that with any similar liquid glitter type product, so. Now let's try this one. This is Bubble Gum and Silk Bomber. Again, let's try the same three dot method. I have a MAC 217 brush now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one is really pigmented. I wiped off a little bit of that. This one like went there really, really fast. Wow. This one almost just needs two dots, not three. Okay, let me see how I'm gonna work this out because honey child boo boo. This is pigmented, but she did mention like the darker the colors get, the more pigmented they are. So go in, what was her word? She said, be nimble with it. <laughs> okay, girl. I don't know, I may have over blended it because I do have a little patch there. Let me try again. Ooh. This one is a lot to blend. I don't know, for whatever reason, this one is breaking up on me. So I don't like the way this one turned out. I don't like that MAC 217 with it because as you all can see, it's splotchy. So I'm gonna try it again with less products and going back with my original blending brush and see the results from that. So I'm gonna do one and two. And my Wayne Goss number 17 brush. And let's blend that. Already, I can tell it's less product, it's easier to work with. I don't particularly like the way this purple is blending out. I feel like it's blending out kind of patchy on me. So here's what it looks like when I put too much product. It still has those patches here. And then here's what it looks like when I put less product and it still looks a bit splotchy. All right, I'm gonna move on. So this is bubble gum, the other side. She said the purple one is the only one that was iridescent. So I'm going to paint it on. And for this one, I'm gonna use a brush. This is an Esam W23 brush. This color is beautiful though. I like the color, but for whatever reason, this is separating on me too. From afar, I think it looks pretty, but up close, you can see little lines in it. I feel like it looks textured and it's not as smooth as I want it to be. It doesn't look as bad as this side, but this side still has the same issue of separation. Just because I'm a curious little cat, I went to go get a washcloth and I wet it with water. And I wanna see if they come off with water because she said they are waterproof, so let's see. Hmm, it's coming off. Oh no. It's coming off with just water. Not all the way, but it's definitely coming on off. What she said in her video is that she's a person who tears up all the time, which is a struggle that I can relate to because I do too, not because I'm so emotional, but because I have very sensitive eyes. So she may be speaking to the fact that if you tear up all the time, then the products won't be easily removed. But this is coming straight off with this water. The last one that we're gonna try is cherry soda and hot sauce. I'm gonna put some hot sauce in my crease. This is the only time you will ever hear me reference to putting hot sauce in my crease. So I just did two dots learning from my previous errors of putting way too much. And I actually still think I have too much. I wiped off my brush just a little bit and I am going to carefully blend out this color. This one is super pretty. Okay. Very beautiful. This one is blending out the same way the first one did. Let's do a few dabs of cherry soda. Let's blend it out. This is a MAC 213, a more fluffy blending brush, which I feel like blends out this product a little bit better. Oh, this one is so pretty. 
That's very pretty. I haven't tried it on the lid yet. I'm gonna put a hot sauce on my lid. So I'm gonna do two dots of that. I'm gonna blend that out. So just straight on the lid. I'm gonna concentrate it on the lid and then begin to diffuse it up towards the crease. All right. I am going to pop some cherry soda right on the inner corner. Let's see what that looks like. Let's put some dots on the bottom like she did. I'm going to focus to blend this out. And just because I'm curious, I want to know how eyeshadows build on top of this. So I'm going to take her Desert Dusk palette. This is a Chica Hodo AF5 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Blood Moon. And I'm going to pop this on top. Let's see what it does. It's not doing anything. Okay, so this should be a good base for eyeshadows. So it's not causing it to separate. It actually still feels very lightweight. I'm gonna take a little bit of her glitter. This one is Cosmo. I'm gonna press this on. I definitely need a stickier base to make the glitter stick to the eyelid. Matte side is dry down, so it's almost like a powder. So it doesn't help adhere any additional glitter products or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my makeup and I'll be right back and I will share with you all my final thoughts on these products. So here's my final look that I created to wear. It's using hot sauce and cherry soda primarily and then I mixed in a little bit of the Desert Dusk palette just to give a little bit of definition to the eye look. I have hot sauce in the crease and I have it on the lower lash line and then I have cherry soda on the lid. From the Desert Dusk palette, I just used a few eyeshadows. I used an eyeshadow on the inner corner and I used an eyeshadow right here on the very outer corner just to add some dimension. But other than that, the main basis of the eye look is this product. Okay, so my final thoughts on this product are, I think it's a really cool concept with how they have the mattes and the metals here. I think it's really nice to have if you're a person who works on the go or if you're a person who travels a lot. It's super quick, it's easy to use. I will say I think this purple one is not like the other two I think the other two that I tried are better formulated than the purple one I think this one was a little bit patchier a little bit harder to apply and maneuver of these two I like hot sauce and cherry soda better because it suits my complexion better private jet and shimmering sunsets this one works for me but it is a little bit lighter so for days when I just want a super light and easy makeup application I do see myself reaching for this in terms of overall formulation I definitely prefer the mattes over the shimmers I think the shimmers are okay but if I had to choose between these and others that are on the market. I definitely think Stila has them beat in terms of the shimmers. Stila's Glitter and Glow and Shimmer and Glow eyeshadows just are better formulated than these Huda products. But I've not seen anything like this matte side, so I think that that's the innovative side of this product. Do I like these? Yes. Do I recommend them? I think they're cool, especially if you get this color. I think this one is the best one out of the ones that I tried. I would definitely steer clear of this purple one, but I think that these are easy. I think that they're fun and they're different. I think that a lot of people will enjoy using these, especially in the morning. Oh my gosh, if you don't have to reach for a bunch of different stuff, but you want to look glam, boom. Do keep in mind though that you don't need a lot of this product at all. It is very pigmented. The mattes are very pigmented. The shimmers are very pigmented. Another tip that I recommend with these products is to keep your plastic boxes. I have found that products like these do better when you store them in a box because I believe that it keeps a lot of the air from getting into it and it helps it be a little bit more airtight and last a little bit longer. But let me know what you all think about these products. They are something different. I'm interested to know your thoughts. Make sure you leave me a comment down below Below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and also make sure you click like on this video if you liked it. And I will talk to you all in my very next video. Smooches! Bye!